Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about animated circular menu in Flutter using GetX. As you can see in the output, if I click on this button, then this animated menu is displayed. And if I click on this button again, then this is closed. I can generate that menu by clicking on this icon as well. How to achieve this, that portion I will discuss today. Here, I have created this project by using the GetCLI tool. After creating the project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken fab circular menu dependency, right? Now, let me move to home view. In the home view, you can see in the body, I have taken a center widget and as a child of the center widget here, I have taken an elevated button having the text as perform action as you can see in the output, right? Now, in the floating action button, I have used builder. In the builder, I have used fab circular menu. This widget is provided by the dependency which I have taken in the pubspec.yml file, right? Now, in the alignment, I have used alignment.bottom right. That's why this is displayed in this bottom right. Remember, you cannot use center here, right? After that, there is a ring color. Now, this ring color is nothing but this ring color where I have specified colors.blue with opacity 0.4 right in the ring diameter i have specified the value as 450 right this is the ring diameter N next we have a ring width where i have specified the value as 100 this is the ring width right after that we have fab size the fab size is 64 fab elevation fab size means this size this size is 64 and in the elevation i have specified the value as 8.0 next we have fab icon border here I have specified the border as circle border. Now since I have not given the border width, that's why the border is not visible here, right? After that fab color, which is blue accent, as you can see in the output, this is the fab color. Next, we have fab open icon. As you can see here, I have used the icon as menu, which is displayed here. And in the fab close icon, I have used icons.close. That's why when I click here, then you can see the close icon is displayed. Next, we have fab margin. And after that, we have that animation duration, animation curve for displaying the animations and all, right? Next, we have on display change. Here, I have written print is open. Actually, this on display change will take the state of this animated menu, whether it is opened or closed. If it is opened, then true will be stored here. And if it is closed, false will be stored here, right? Now, what items will be displayed in this animated menu, circular menu? For that, here I have used a raw material button. In the on press, we need to write some code as per our requirement. In the shape, here I have used circle border and I have given a width as one and in the color, I have specified colors.blue. That's why you can see here that a blue border is displayed in the circle. For the circle, that blue border is there and the border width is one. And in the child here, I have used icons.home having the color as blue. That's why the home icon is displayed with blue color. Similarly, I have created all these three items for this animated menu as you can see here, right? Now, what my requirement is that whenever I will click here means whenever I will click on any menu item at that time, this should be closed. Now, if I click here, then see it is not closing. If you want to close it, then you need to write some code and that I will write. Let me move to home controller. In the home controller here, I need to use a global key. Global key and after that here I will use fab circular menu state, right? And here I will give the name as fab key equals to global key. Fine. After that here, I will create a method open close fab menu now inside this method first of all i will check if fab key dot current state dot is open if it is open then what will happen i need to close the animated menu and to do that fab key dot current state dot i need to use the close method right and in the else portion what we need to do we need to open the animated menu and for that here i will simply paste it and instead of close here i will use the open method right so whenever you are clicking on this button at that time first of all it will check whether it is 
animated menu is open or not if it is open then what it will do it will close it and if it is not open then it will open the animated menu right now my re next requirement is that whenever i will click on any of the animated icon or animated menu then the animated circular menu should be closed and to do that i will move to home view in the home view let's say i want to write the code for this first raw material button so here i will write controller dot fab key dot current state dot close method that's it this is how we can use or create animated circular menu in flutter using getx i hope you have enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching